Hey there guys, it's Psycho Red here with just another update and kind of a tutorial video on how to get a GBA for iOS emulator on your iDevices. And this is an update to my previous uh, video that I've put out. And uh, I just kind of wanted to show you guys how to um, get this installed onto your iDevice one more time. And I'm actually uh, doing this on a newer firmware. So before I was on 9.3, but if you notice right here, I'm on 9.3.2. I'm actually on the beta version, beta 2. Um, and to show you guys, or to actually prove that, let me go and turn on the night shift mode. And let me also go ahead and turn on, oops. low power mode so I'm on low power mode and I'm on night shift mode so that should be um, proof to you guys that I'm actually uh, on the beta 2 version so this will work on both those on this firm on this firmware so let's go ahead and test this guy out so I already have it previously installed from my um, my previous firmware from my um, from my video from last time so I'm actually gonna install it one more time so for this we're gonna go to GBA for iOS app.com and here's the actual website so we're gonna go ahead and download or tap on the link we're gonna hit install and we're gonna go ahead and let that guy run and before um, uh, before this app uh, tries to install or loads all the way it should cut out and then we're gonna go ahead and tap on the app again and it should install all the way so there it goes it cut out the first time we're gonna hit it one more time after we hit done there we go we'll let that install what it looks like it's catching it looks like that meter it looks like it's catching up from where it left off and it looks like it's just gonna install from the rest the rest of the way And there we go. So it didn't install, so we're gonna go ahead and hit done. And we're gonna try the uh, date trick on here. So let's go to general, and we're gonna go to date and time. We're gonna set automatically back, and we're gonna go from our time zone, not to our time zone, but our clock right here. And we're gonna scroll back a couple of years. Two thousand two was pretty far, so let's see if this works. So we'll tap on the app again. Sweet, and there we go. We have the GBA for iOS running on iOS 9.3.2 beta 2. So let's go back and we're going to set our time back to automatically we're going to go under general and we're going to go to profiles and device management and i believe it's this one the china vdi we're going to trust this we'll hit back and we can't go into the app just yet we actually have to set our time back one more time So we'll scroll back a couple years. I think February 2013 will be fine. We'll go and launch the app. And there we go. Perfect. So there you guys have it. Uh, if you guys don't know how to download ROMs onto your iDevice, uh, go ahead and refer back to my last um, video on uh, having to download uh, ROMs uh, for the GBA for iOS uh, and I'll leave a little annotation on the top right corner of the screen so you guys can know how to get there <clears throat> but yeah there you guys go and ha there you guys have it the GBA for iOS emulator running on iOS 9.3.2 beta 2 it still works the time trick method still works uh, I'm not sure if that's gonna be patched in later um, in a later uh, beta for this firmware. I do believe 9.3.2 is actually only gonna go through a couple of betas and then it should be released to us. I think the major thing was allowing us to have that night shift mode and low power mode. But there you guys go and there you guys have it. GBA for iOS running on iOS 9.3 beta 2. 
and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did like it up, go ahead and leave a comment. If you guys are still having problems, I'm, I'm doing anything that I can to run tests on different iDevices to see which uh, devices are working and which devices aren't. So if you guys are having problems, please let me know. And for all things Apple Plus, this is Psycho Red signing off, and I hope you guys have a good rest of your night. Peace.